Hello everyone, today is January 30th, 2021, and I know it's been a hot second since I've made any sort of video, but that's because I've been playing Genshin Impact. Now I know I'm late to the party since the game's been out for several months, but whether you're a new player or a veteran player who's thinking of starting a new journey, this is going to be a good resource on how to reroll efficiently for 5 stars. Now I'm sure you're wondering, why reroll at all? It's time consuming and it's not very fun. But uh, Genshin Impact has abysmally low uh, hit rates for their 5 stars, and as free to play, uh, not counting the first time you clear content or the events where they give you uh, free pulls, you're looking at about 30 pulls a month if you play every day and do your dailies. So altogether that's about 3 months per guaranteed 5 star, again not including freebies and events. So being able to fast track your count with 1 or 2 carrying units will really help you. In addition, getting some best in slot units will uh, help you save gems because as new units come out that fill similar roles, you can uh, kind of skip them without batting any eyelashes. And it'll make it hurt less if you do end up pulling and you fail and you get like a duplicate of a healer that you already have, you know. It's just good to have that base team sitting there waiting for you. The first thing I wanted to talk about is numbers and macro strategy. The base strategy is to get to adventure rank 5 and reroll 17 to 18 times. With this number of trials, there is about a 9.7 chance of getting one or more 5 stars. I wouldn't count on the second one though. I was able to complete one run in a little under the 22 minutes, so if I cut you some slack and say each run takes 25 minutes, we're looking at about 4 hours of rerolling to get one five star. Now I know this sounds like a hefty price and honestly it really is but consider the pain of going deep into the game and then getting extremely unlucky with a duplicate healer five star etc. Uh, so I personally performed 75 rerolls and ended up with three sets of double five stars finally choosing Diluc and Chi Chi to start the game. Now if you've watched this far I'm assuming you care about the process and the first thing I want to say is uh, pathing matters. This uh, climbing up the wall here will save you a few seconds. Uh, so in general, I want you to be mindful as you do this and keep an eye on your stamina management. The next point I want to make is to cap this teleport point on your way down from uh, your chat with Amber. This will give you Prima Gems and in addition, uh, we'll use it later on to move faster to the adventurer's uh, checkpoint. When you're killing Dvalin, I want to quickly point out that there is a glitch that can happen if you perform a uh, jump attack, which is space left click on PC. This might end up getting you stuck in the air and you'll have to restart the game, resulting in uh, less time actually rerolling. So try to only use your mouse during the fight. Uh, also watch out for Kaika because he really likes to clap. After the clapping cutscene, uh, pay attention that I'm climbing to the top of the Fafonius headquarters uh, because there's going to be a chest that gives you 10 Prima Gems and in addition there's a teleport point that gives you 5 more. The reason we need these is because we want to get to exactly 160 Prima Gems uh, to get one additional roll. If you are uh, fortunate to not get more than 2 4 stars, uh, then you'll get one additional roll to hunt for 5 stars with using the uh, return currency from, non from duplicates. After the Jean and Lisa cutscene here, you're going to want to go into your inventory mail and pick up the 10 free wishes. This is available after reaching AR5, which is uh, the EXP that you'll get from finishing this quest. Uh, from there, you want to go and do the trial quest for whoever the new unit is. Ganyu is the feature here, but I believe you get 20 free Prima Gems for trying the uh, new unit and killing 14 units. So uh, I'll go ahead and do that for 20, and that'll get us to exactly uh, 160 after picking up the guild rewards. Now remember how I told you to cap the teleport point midway through the run? Now uh, teleport to it within the from within the guild headquarters so you can avoid one more loading screen and then just go ahead and run down to the guild receptionist and she will give you one extra pull as well as 50 Prima Gems. Altogether that will get us to exactly 160 Prima Gems for one additional pull. Oh don't forget to pick up the uh, free gems from the trial. So there you have it, a 22 minute run. Uh, with some slight optimizations to cut you several seconds uh, that may or may not add up. But for a majority of my roles, I was doing something on the side like watching anime or playing a turn-based game like Richie Mahjong. So I'd say don't sacrifice uh, too much enjoyment for efficiency here. Also, I want to note that if you do get a 5-star, you can continue on to Adventure Rank 10 by completing the regular storyline quest to get another set of 10 pulls for your second 5-star potentially. Anyways, that's all from me. I know I'm having a blast with my uh, new characters, and I hope you have good luck with your roles. And as always, thanks for watching.